This is over 10 years free form dreadlocks. Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. I've been requested today to do a positive vibration dreadlock review on the Infinite Cup. Discover your infinite self. New videos every single day. What? This is crazy. I haven't heard of this guy before, so I'm happy to have been uh, recommended this. And I'm very interested to see uh, what this dude is about. His name is Robert Breton, certified Raja yoga instructor, meditation teacher, spiritual activist, and music producer. My sincere passion is helping others by creating space for people to discover their most infinite self. This channel is for everyone looking to improve their life and make more of a connection with spirit. This is sick. So the infinite cup definitely has some infinite free form locks. Let's take a look at what we are dealing with today. It's got that beard going in real big, but can we see his locks? They seem to be tied back quite a bit. So until I find, oh, here we go. Sick, he's got them wrapped up in a neck gaiter. And uh, this is obviously to keep his hair dry while going in the ocean there. Um, and you can see here another shot of his locks wrapped up. Looking like he's got some big Nazi Congos happening. Must admit, they're, they're going to be fired. I'm, I'm, and even the dread beard looks like it's coming into play. Crazy growth on that beard. So what I'm ultimately looking for is some photos of his locks, which don't seem to be... Uh, I think that's a durian fruit. Rolinia. Oh, I never heard of a Rolinia fruit. Um, I like the way he wears his hair on top of his head, you know, wrapped up, wrapped up out of the way most of the time. Oversized neck gaiter here to help do that. Here we can see how his hair is tied back still and they're almost down to his knees when he's bent over. Looking like he's definitely on that free form journey. I just need to find out some videos of him. I guess just really showcasing his locks. Here's a good photo. Looking like his hair type is a, is a type 2 with a little bit of curls in there. Uh, you can see how his locks have come in really thick and crinkly, kind of wavy, doing their own thing. Lots of stray hairs everywhere. He's really embraced the freeform journey. I get so many questions about my dreadlocks, he says. I guess they are a fashion now. A lot of people are confused about dreadlocks. They have been around way longer than you think. This is not a hairstyle, this is a way of living. Our hair is an extension of energy. When you wear your locks on top of your head, it becomes an antenna. This connects you to the crown chakra and releases kundalini energy. I did not go to the salon or get my hair braided in any way. This is the neglect method, freeform method. All natural, no waxes or goo required. If you let your hair grow and stop brushing it, it dreads, dreads naturally. That's the free form method versus going to get dreads twisted or interlocked or crocheted. This is the path of the yogi. Everything is energy. Big statement, big statement. And you can definitely tell that this dude is a vegan. He's on that Ito life. You know, he's natural with his hair. He's natural within his energy and his food within him as well. So really happy to see that. Uh, here's a little time lapse of him meditating with his locks, doing some yoga. So I guess he's around the 10 year mark with his locks. He's got to be pretty close to the 10 year mark at this point. And I like, I love the thickness of his locks that he's got going in. So I'm going to head back to his YouTube channel. Hopefully I can find a video um, discussing his, his dreads. So he had a 10 year update two years ago. So he must be around the 12 year, 13 year mark. Sick. Drone shots from above, always a good way to, to show the length and the thickness of dreads. Yo, his dreads are crazy thick. Wow, holy shit. That's crazy, crazy length. His longest dreadlock is past his knee. The thickness of them and the color, like everything is just like, you know, true goals right here. These are some goals to get to with my freeform journey, 100% company called Heal Yourself with Nature. She makes amazing bath bombs and I have a video on my channel. We did this apple cider vinegar rinse for my locks. It was really nice. You know, this is over 10 years free form dreadlocks. Damn, I'm trying to get to that 10 year mark, no doubt. 10 years of locks is going to take so long to get to, but like seeing guys like this, 
definitely makes it a little bit easier knowing that I, you know there's people out there doing it and we can attain that ourselves as well so cool I love the big beads that he's got going on. He's got some rubber bands in there tied up. He's kind of showing us the texture and the integrity of his locks. I wonder if he's got any buildup on the inside. Oh yeah, there is some. You can kind of see it there. So this is why he's doing the ACV rinse to try and get some of that gunk out of the lock. And you know, this sort of buildup I've seen before. Um, it's not necessarily mold every single time. Um, this could be just sebum. This could just be... Um, product build up a little bit of shampoo um, but it doesn't it's not always gonna be mold when you find shit like that in your locks just to say um, so this is him putting his hair in the sink <laughs> holy shit this is quite the process and uh, we're gonna see the after effects of the water usually it goes a little bit brown and you know what, this is definitely the hardest part of an ACV rinse is, is finding a position that's comfortable. If you don't have a salon chair with a salon sink, this becomes really difficult to do. Especially when you're trying to sit there for like 20 minutes with your hair in the water. Um, and this is the after of his water, like you know how you see how the water turns pretty murky rather quick. I almost feel like these rinses should be repeated. When you take your water, when you take your hair out of the, the murky water, like refill it up and re-rinse it again to get all that dirt out. Normally at this point, I will go into the shower and rinse out all the extra water um, and then do a proper drying. But it's, yeah, which is, you know, which is exactly what he did. He went to the shower after and on top, because you can see how the dirt is still rinsing out. So honestly, I would consider doing the rinse twice. For my next time i'm going to do it uh once with the murky water and then clean it out do another rinse and then see if the water still goes murky and then rinse it out and on top of that i might suggest during this process in the shower rinse to use cold water uh, because cold water is really going to help with your scalp uh, it's really going to help with uh, condensing the locks after as well. Uh, and for him, the longest part here is going to be letting them dry. So, I mean, obviously wearing the towel plop is going to absorb a lot of that water for the first half an hour. But this is the best way that you can really do it is do a little dreadlock shake without pulling your neck muscles too much. Uh, because this is really going to shake out all the excess water. Um, and, you know, for someone with a length as much as him he's going to have to let these dry all day and it looks like he's in a pretty warm climate to do so probably the hardest part about having dreadlocks at 10 years is this right here um, but good thing is you don't have to do it every day you know because that would just be too much that would be too much so anyways I'm gonna end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the infinite cup the infinite cup dreadlocks definitely very legendary and i'm definitely gonna have to spend a bit more time on his channel watching some of his content and learning more about my energies within and i suggest you guys dropping by his channel if you're not already subscribed and showing some love tell him that not nation sent you let's grow this community even bigger but i'm gonna head out Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Dreadlocks content on the daily, not Locks, not Nation, producing it. And, uh, and yeah, I'm gone. Peace out, one love. Stay happy and natty. Adios.